Hey, yo, NBA Youngboy, you, your fans, the label, y'all dropped the ball on this one, man. Y'all got some explaining to do. Now, I ain't going to say that it's a flop because never have I ever seen 100,000 plus units be sold and I'm going to call that a flop. But there are people that are calling this a flop. You know, they call Kendrick a flop and Kendrick sold 295,000. So it's not necessarily about the actual number all the time. It's about the expectations. Did you meet those expectations? Now, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, NBA Youngboy's new album, The Last Lamento, went number two. It lost out to Bad Baby by 400 units. Yes, you heard it. It came down to the last day. They were both uh, jockeying for position. It looked like NBA Youngboy at first he was going to sell like around 104,000 or something to that nature. Then, no, it was 102,000. Then his fans, they, they ran it up. They tried to at least, and they reported that it was going to be 114,000. But we know the numbers game is just literally, you don't know what the truth is going to be until it actually comes out. The numbers come out. And he lost. It seems like Bad Baby had 108 and 800 units, while Young Boy had 108 and 400, 108,400. So, this is a question: Did he flop? Did Young Boy flop? Like I said, I don't think he flopped. I'm gonna say that he was very disappointing, though. Very disappointing. Now, I think it's a lot of mistakes that were made in this. One. You're never as good as you say you are. That's a fact. You're never as good as you say you are. And I say that because I'm not saying it to say that NBA Youngboy doesn't make good music or he's overrated, but I think this is what it is. I think that because his last two albums have sold pretty well, you're talking what, 124,000 uh, then up for top and then 137,000 for the last one. So. I think people would just expect him to keep jumping. You got to understand that the hype was just building and building. The man just beat the Fed case. His name been all in the news. Uh, you got Kodak out here giving him free promo, hating on the fans. So I think, though, that the label and Youngboy, like I said, they the ones who dropped the ball because I think that they both kind of got a little cocky like, I'm NBA Youngboy. I don't really need promotion. I don't really need hit singles. My fan base is so strong that all I got to do is just drop. And it showed that not every artist needs this. And I wonder, you know, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but, you know, this is his last able, label, um, his last uh, album on Atlantic. Atlantic didn't really promote this. I seen him put up a billboard in Times Square. That's about it. I wonder if maybe, you know, you know, they say that the label buys albums. I wonder if the label purposely was on some shit like, man, we're not going to buy them little 20K or we're not going to buy whatever we need to buy to get him out. there Because, I mean, this is a man who's burnt his bridges. You know, this, when you go out, the label don't fuck with you. You know, even though they wanted to fuck with young boy, they wanted, they, I'm sure they would love to keep him on the label. But what we got to understand is this is a man who said, don't sign the Atlantic Records, fuck Atlantic Records. So maybe it's because they don't want to help him out to win because of the way that he went out the door at the, at, you know, he didn't, he the type, he didn't put in no two week notice. He, he quit. He kicked over the lights. He kicked over the buckets. He did all that stuff. So young boy, maybe he left a bad taste in the label's mouth and this is what we get, you know? So. I don't know, man. Uh, I also think that NBA Youngboy, he could have did better promoting this album. But I get it. You got a case going on. Maybe you're a little stressed. Maybe things is a little different right now for you. You ain't really focused on that. But just from the history of NBA Youngboy, he never really promotes albums he never does things to the top availability like as far as promotion that he can and i just feel like nba young boy that album should have sold about 200 190 185 in that range like he's that big but because lack of promotion um i get it you can only be on home confinement it's things that are out of your reach but at the same time you could have got some more marketing dollars, spent some more money. Y'all could have did. That's why I say it's both of them. It's both him and the label. Bad Bunny is kind of, I'm looking at his album sales and his album sales have been dropping each album the last 
two three albums as well so my whole thing is it should have been able it should have been beat that's just what it is and nba young boy likes to say i don't care about you know album sales i'm just happy that i complete something talking about his contract i'm not gonna be fooled i think every artist wants to have their album go number one every artist deep inside whether they admit it or not they want their album to be number one they want it to be you know you just had your last two albums be number one and you're for sure not gonna get number one next week no disrespect but rod wave is selling 140,000 next week that's his projection so if you didn't sell that for 100 and you sold 108 your first week you could kiss that goodbye now i do think that NBA young boy is a bigger artist than Rod Wave. Even though I I like Rod Wave better, I do think that he should be up there. I mean, the album they they had the album cover out like they did a, the bare minimum promotion. Like we knew what the name of the album was gonna be. We knew around the time it was gonna drop, but. It just seems like there's things they could have done better. You don't want to do interviews, no press runs, none of that. And it's coming back. It came back to bite you on the end. Now he, it is his last album with Atlantic. So either he's going to go to another label or he's going to do the independent thing, but maybe he was just trying to get out the door and it is what it is. But I think Rod Wave put a lot of promotion into his album. He sat down, he did some interviews. He got very vulnerable for the people to win over. And that's why we have Rod Wave now. Um, about to take the throne from Bad Bunny after this week. Last Lamento number two. I thought there was things that could have been done better. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that that uh, it's a flop? Do y'all think it was just underwhelming? Do y'all think that he's right where he's supposed to be? Because this is, they say, the hottest artist in the game, right? This guy sold. They just said he passed Lil Wayne for like most... Uh, he's tied and he's tied with uh he's tied with eminem for the most uh 100 million or videos over 100 million on youtube um he's got the 100 over 100 gold and platinum singles so it's like yo y'all support the songs why not support the album i'm just trying to figure out where what happened in this situation y'all let me know man like share subscribe comment hit that notification bell and we out baby Boom. you are now tuned in to the little player now with your host, oh, Big Jess LaFleur. You are watching a master at work. I'm Daddy Channel. <laughs> I'm Daddy Channel.